What's up YouTube, Adrian Amaral here. Today's video is a little bit different than what I'm used to doing. I'm usually making how-to videos, how to repair all kinds of gadgets. Today's video is different because now I'm gonna teach you guys the business of cell phone repair. <laughs> Owning your own business is, well, owning my own business is probably the best thing I've ever done for myself, for my family. Um, I used to work at Wells Fargo. I worked at Guess. I was a manager at Guess. I was a manager at Pizza Hut. I worked at Domino's. I worked at Foot Locker. I had so many jobs, like 13 to 15 different jobs, and I've never been as happy as I was when I quit Wells Fargo and started doing computers just that's it just computer work and getting paid for my own time for my own my own skills me I've always liked to fix all kinds of stuff my wife we both jumped into this business together and she had no repair experience I've been doing computers for going on six years now but my wife had no experience with repairs and she's freaking awesome at repairing phones and gadgets man it's just it's like a puzzle so in this video I want to teach you guys how to start your own cell phone repair business this here is experience that I've attained from owning my own shops from computer repair to cell phone repair to cell phone repair training the first thing to start your own cell phone repair business I want to first motivate you by telling you how much free time you will have trust me owning your own business is the best thing that can ever happen to you uh, you have all the time in the world nobody can tell you anything I'm gonna show you guys a little sneak peek at what we're doing in the back right now um, because nobody can tell me what to do nobody can tell us what to do I can close the store whenever I feel like it and uh, we can cook on the job you're about to see my father-in-law. Let's go check on him real quick. All right. We're going to go check on my suegro. Get a little tour of the shop. See what he's doing back here. What's up, suegro? Uh, hey, hey. Arre, Lu. ¿Cómo estamos? Mira. What is this? Oh, carnita con chile. Nice. It's beautiful. Mira, check this out, man. Mira. Mmm, mmm. Esta es vida del rancho. Arre Lulu. Así come en el rancho, así cuando andan arreando las vacas, mira. Arre. Mm. He said it was spicy. Oh, yeah, spicy. Y sus tortillas o con virote. Mmm. Eh, yo, yo quiero con virote. Aquí está, mira. Bueno, varias. con las dos, ¿eh? Damn. Vamos. Mira. ¿Eh? Arre. Mira el plato. El plato. Aquí What está. is this called? Five star. ¿Cómo se llama esto? Esto se llama carne con chile. De, ya sea de puerco o viste. ¿Y esa es de, de qué? ¿Es de, de res. ¿De res? De res. Es de del Five Star Restaurant. Arre. Provecho aquí... todo mundo. Y aquí, mira. Aquí. Este es gozar. Yes, sir. ¿Verdad? Aquí estamos ah. en el Five Star Shop. Un little tour. Tipo aquí rancho. tenemos al suegro haciendo la comidita. Y... y arre. Arre, Lulu. Yeah. All right, so you guys just got a glimpse of what it is like to own your own business all the free time you have i never miss my son's football games soccer games projects school shows whatever you you name it um i never miss the doctor's appointment i don't have to i mean you obviously have to attend your customers so if you want to make money yes you want to be there and open and be uh, disciplined in order to run your business more, as profitable as possible right with this business it's so easy to make a hundred bucks it's so easy to make 50 bucks you can make it in five minutes I mean a quick example I'm gonna show you guys this iPhone this iPhone X screen right here it's a brand new screen okay I bought this for hundred and forty dollars and my customer screen is which I'm gonna make a video on it and you guys can watch it how to make 200 bucks profit right I charge the customer 250 bucks right the screen cost me 
$140. So, you minus that. So, here, I should have put it this way. Alright, so zero. I'm bad at math now. Ever since phones came out, I'm like, I suck at math. So, that's a $110 profit, okay? The part cost me 140 and I'm making 110 with profit. Well, guess what? His old screen, because it's a good LCD, I'm going to get 120 bucks for that. So how much profit does that make me in 10 minutes? That is $230. $230, guys, in 10 minutes, because that's how long it's... It takes me to change these screens. To be successful at at owning your own business, your own cell phone repair shop, you have to be brave and open devices that you've never opened. I mean, you can watch a YouTube video and that's how you can kind of get a glimpse at what you're gonna be uh, disassembling and stuff. I mean, you can see a bunch of my videos. I label them like I've never done this before and I still do it live like there's just one called the essential phone you can check out that video I had never even heard of that phone um, I bought it for 20 bucks unlocked ready to use with any carrier and um, I just replaced the screen for it it was only like 36 bucks for the screen and I'm like let me tackle this one I did it live so that you guys can see how easy it could be to just replace a screen so go check out that video it's called the essential phone um it was dude that's a five minute screen repair literally you'll see how surprised i was in the video um so yeah be brave never fear a, a device like just tackle them you know make some money all right so key number two point number two is probably the most critical one all right this is the most important uh, tips or the most important key of all of five of them because it deals with you need tools you need inventory you need um, you need to know how to identify problems and how to fix them okay tools I can show you the tools that we have here let me go over to my special screen here I don't know if I should make it make this big yeah I'll make it big for you guys all right these bags are just, they, uh, I bought some iPhone cases and they, they gave me these bags. But I handpicked all of these tools so that, you know, when people join my course, I give them the tools for free. Now, if you're interested in buying this kit from me, you can. Um, I'll leave the link in the bottom on the description and you can order them from me and I'll send it to you. I'll ship it to you. I also have these t-shirts. Um, I'll put the link down there. Those are on eBay. So let's start off with these tools here. I have the iPhone 7 Y-tip screwdriver. These are the must-have tools. Okay, let's open this thing up. And this is the Y-tip right here. If you guys can see, right here, this is the Mercedes, I like to call it the Mercedes tip. Oh, where are you at? Come on. Come on, camera. All right, there you go. This is for the iPhone 7s and up, okay? You're gonna see this wide tip tool. You must, this is a must have, okay? These are must have tools. You see this right here? This is a must have tool. Um, this is for your iPhone 7s and up. Then you got your Phillips or your cross or whatever, you know? It's right here. Where you have the purple one. They might, they vary in colors, so just always look up for, for here. You can look at the tip, okay? This is the Phillips. This is what you're gonna need. Okay, this is what you need to run a successful cell phone repair shop. And a heat gun. I didn't even put the heat gun on this right here, but it's okay. The next one is the hex or star screwdriver for the bottom screws. Here it is. Come on. Come on, come on. Uh, there you go. It's because it's light, it's not letting it. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Okay, this is for the bottom screws on iPhones, and then you have a, this is for like to remove motherboards on certain devices like iPhone 6s and other iPhones. You can remove the motherboard from with this. Then you got a metal pry tool. This is very handy. All right, 
This is to start prying stuff out. Cool, you got this right here. Then you need a rectangular, rectangular blade. These right here. These are a must. You must have one of these, okay? Next, you're gonna have a plastic spudger tool, which is these right here. You know, and you can watch the videos, you know, and see how they're used and stuff. I won't get too into detail with those. This one here too, I mean, I'll tell you, it's the same thing. Uh, your tweezers, these are a must as well, okay? Tweezers and some miscellaneous stuff. This is another prying tool, it's a metal one. But, you know, these are always good to have. These are like essential. I don't really use this. A lot of people use it, but I really never used it, you know? You put it on your screen, you pull the screen up, whatever. I don't use that, but I'm throwing it in the kit. I don't know why I keep looking up here. It's because the screen's up here. So you guys are right there. Another very essential tool that I also handpicked is this pick. I handpicked this pick. It's a 40 millimeter plastic pick for guitars. Um, I got them on eBay. But I'm throwing them in the kit for you guys. So I also play guitar, but we'll get into that later. So this right here is a 40 millimeter pick. It really does help. Um, with fragile stuff like like the notes or like the galaxy series back back glasses some screens you know it really helps because it's, it's just thin enough and just thick enough for the repairs after I tried so many different sizes and thickness okay now there's a whole bunch of other stuff that are recommended for a more successful business you know a computer you need a computer you need the heat gun is a must I'm sorry I should have put that in the other one this is a must right here okay you can get it for 20 bucks at Harbor Freight or I'm sure you can order it online somewhere other tools that you may need computer heat gun plastic toolbox electrical tape compressor plastic spudger tool boxer screwdriver set tweezers we went through all that these are the most essential things you're gonna need right here on this screen okay now I'm not doing this so you can order them from me you know I, I give these to my students that sign up for the course it's 500 bucks and it's in person it's five days four hours a day and I teach them everything what I'm teaching you guys but it's like in person and it's more into detail because they have questions and they get answered on the spot and we just go through a lot of stuff. Four hours is a long time. It's like if you're watching a video for four hours, you know? I have a curriculum that I go by when, I, when I'm teaching the class, so I'm just gonna scan through this for you guys. And I'm gonna show you guys what else you need. Business cards, microfiber towels, um, right here. Paper towels, desks, lights, I mean, sorry, lights and desk lights, magnifying light, USB charging cables. You need like a whole bunch of different kind type of uh, cables. You know, I got a watch watch charger. I got USB-C. I have iPhone right here on the other little screen. You can see it. Um, inventory. Inventory is a must, okay? Without inventory, you have no money. Okay, now I have a POS system where I already typed in all the inventory that I need. Everybody needs it if you want to make the most money out of this business, okay? You can leave a comment down here, we'll communicate with each other, and I'll, I can install that software for you remotely. I don't care where you are in the world, I can log in and install it for you. So message me if you're interested in the POS system. Um, if you don't have the POS system, the minimum requirement for inventory is let me show you guys real quick <clears throat> have one screen for each one of these iPhones okay up to here because these are expensive right the XS Max and stuff but have one screen of each color for each one of these iPhones iPhone 5, 5S, one white one black, one white one black, one white one black, one white one black da, 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 all the way to the 8 plus if you can afford it get yourself one of the X's one of the X's max and one of all these they're expensive the same with the Samsung they're expensive but if you can afford it have one in the inventory because if a customer calls you 
you'll have it ready. Yeah, I could do it right now in 30 minutes. Blah, okay, we got a customer. Otherwise, oh, I have to order it and, you know, a lot of times they'll wait because they're expensive anyways. Um, so, a lot of times they'll, they won't wait. They'll be like, okay, sorry, I need it done today. Okay? These are the most common devices here, but you at least need one screen for the iPhones. Okay, one white, one black. And batteries for each and one of these each and every one of these phones all right you need to have one battery of each because you can make money with the batteries now the, the Samsung's I really recommend you get the back glass for them too there's different colors of them this inventory just having one part one item of each it can get up there I'm talking about like a thousand bucks or more okay so like 1200 bucks for everything battery screens and that's not the only inventory that you're gonna need because you know sometimes you break a screen by accident and that was your only iPhone 7 black screen and what do you tell a customer now oh I gotta order it's gonna be here tomorrow you know it's so inventory is very 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 important if you guys want to see that POS system I'm gonna make a video on it um, check it out and see if you guys like it and leave me a comment down okay another thing you need to know if you want to run a cell phone repair shop you need to know how to identify problems okay if a customer comes up to you with a screen with a phone that doesn't charge you gotta know how to like figure out you know what I'm saying how to uh, diagnose it and see why it's not charging um, if a customer tells you that their speaker is you can't hear it no more you gotta know how to diagnose that okay so these are the key things there's five key things the first one is just gotta know the business and be motivated that's the first thing be motivated because there's so much free time and um, it's easy money okay so that's number one number two is how to identify problems okay I'm gonna encourage you guys to buy this little gadget here let me see if I can show you it's called uh, a TriStar tester a lot of uh, people in the micro soldering world use this to determine if if um, if your motherboard is bad from TriStar chip problems well I encourage everybody to have this because it saves me a lot of time you just plug it into the phone you run the test initially it'll tell you if it it'll tell you if it has a bad uh, charging port um, it'll tell you if your battery is missing or if it's it doesn't say if it's failing but if your battery is failing it usually says battery missing or it'll tell you if it's the TriStar which is a motherboard issue and that'll save you a lot of time so that you don't have to waste time trying to figure out and diag diagnosing a phone that's not charging or stuff like that. So get this, it's a TriStar tester. I can put the link at the bottom. I'm not getting credit for any of this yet anyway, but um, that's one thing. So the second thing you gotta do, or the second key or the second point on how to start your own cell phone repair business is learn how to identify problems, okay? Number three, is learn how to unlock cell phones all right learn how to clean the IMEIs when a when a phone is reported lost or stolen you know there's ways we have websites that we look that we can look at we can access them to clean them for a small fee you know and you charge your customers a greater fee you know how to reset passwords how to bypass passwords um, a lot of these already have like iCloud and Google lock you know which you should get familiar with iCloud as well if you don't know how iCloud works you gotta learn how to how iCloud works and how Google lock works okay there's a lot of tricks and there's a lot of stuff you can do to remove iCloud or get past it you know it's expensive and it's tricky and it's a gray area because I still don't even know how legal that is but I know a lot of people get a little scared with the iCloud and stuff um, so there's another thing called FRP which stands for factory reset protection it's Google lock it's the same thing FRP is Google lock when the phone gets reset and the Google account was still logged in it won't it's like iCloud it won't let you access it there's ways to bypass that so learn how to unlock and clean IMEIs and reset passwords get familiar with iCloud and FRP Google lock that's point number three okay key number four or point number four learn how to buy and sell phones with cell phone repair comes cell phone sales and 
cell phone refurbishing and all that stuff so just the fact that you're starting to fix phones trust me you're gonna start buying and selling phones and that's where a lot of your profit comes comes from also okay I got a whole bunch of phones here that you know they these are already like I bought these for like ten dollars twenty dollars and guess what I'm selling them for 200 bucks this iPhone 7 I got it for 20 bucks because the person they just they they found it honestly they they found it and and I freaking um I I unlocked it I mean it didn't have iCloud on it so I just reset it um, I'm selling for 200 bucks um, learn how to buy and sell cell phones <laughs> um, like I said earlier fixing phones is gonna get you um, it's gonna get you a lot of phones to buy and to sell a lot of customers don't want to fix their phone because it's expensive you know some labor is pretty pricey on phone repair um, so you end up offering them so much money to buy it from them instead because they're just gonna take it home and throw it and just leave it there throw it in the trash I mean you buy it for cheap buy it for 20 30 bucks sometimes 50 sometimes 100 whatever depending on how much the phone is actually worth but you'll buy a phone refurbish it yourself and sell it for quadruple the profit you know um, so yeah you're gonna need to learn how to buy and sell phones okay that's point number four key number four the final one number five is marketing it's the easiest to me I think because like I said just wearing this t-shirt already gets me customers you walk down the street and you tell somebody hey I fix phones I guarantee you I'm almost 95% 99% sure that they're gonna say oh yeah I have this phone um how much do you charge to do this how much do you charge to do that so marketing is one of the easiest ones but that is a key uh, point in this um, in this how to start a cell phone repair business so marketing getting customers doing Yelp uh, building a website um, putting yourself on Google Maps uh, which by the way you go on uh, what is it Google my business.com or just search up Google my business that's how you can get on the maps social media which is Facebook Instagram Twitter snapchat all that stuff works I find that Facebook and Instagram is probably the best one for marketing uh, cell phone repair shop and you need business cards and you need flyers let me show you guys some flyers that I made see these are cheap you can get like 5,000 of them for like 160 bucks and you can hire somebody to pass them out and um, just don't put them on people's windshields that's kind of annoying I mean I've, I've had calls people when I started I used to do that and people would call me pissed off I don't want your flyer in my windshield that's so disrespectful I'm gonna call the city and blah blah, blah. and I'm like oh sorry man so yeah hire somebody and they can put them like where the door handles at maybe I don't know just or better yet give it to the person into in their hand and shake their hand or something you know all right so I've showed you five key points um, as to how to start your own cell phone repair business number one was be motivated you're gonna have free time you're gonna be your own boss easy money all that good stuff I promise you I'm not lying to you okay number two is tools and inventory the very most important thing is tools and inventory without inventory you can't fix anything so what the heck um, at least if you have the inventory you can google how to fix stuff right so tools and inventory how to identify problems and how to fix them alright that's key number two key tip point whatever number three is how to unlock clean IMEIs password reset iCloud FRP Google lock learn how to do all that and you'll be on your way to making money with the cell phone repair business number four how to buy and sell phones it's gonna be a lot of your profit right there man um, number five is marketing getting customers Yelp website Google Maps social media flyers business cards t-shirts now I already made the I already did the work for you guys you guys could just buy this t-shirt from uh, the links down below let me show you guys a little bit see that I'm telling you I was at Costco I'm not lying this is a true story 
I was at Costco waiting in line to buy pizza. Comment if or yeah, comment if you like Costco pizza. And um, eight people, cause I, it was a pretty long line, like twenty minute wait. Eight people asked me, "Hey, you fix phones? Your shirt says it." Sorry, I thought I asked. Whatever. I said, "Yes, I do. How can I help you? You know? Oh, how much do you charge for this?" Blah blah. blah. Eight different people. Three of them already came to visit me. I already made three hundred and fifty bucks just for wearing this shirt and having this nice pocket in there to hide your to put your your business cards in. 350 bucks for just wearing the darn shirt, man. Um, Super Bowl Sunday, we were at El Super, no, we were at uh, Smart and Final. Yeah, Smart and Final. Uh, and we were about to pay, my wife, my kids and I, we were about to pay, and some guy is like, hey man, sorry to bother you, you fix phones? I'm like, yeah, dude, uh. He is yet to come, but he did text me today, and he said, if I op he asked me if I open Sundays, I told him no, but he would try to make it on Saturday. Because he works all week. Anyways, point is, I gave him a business card. Bam. I'm, I think I'm going to make around 200 bucks from this guy. He has several devices that he wants looked at. And we are going to make some money. Check out the shirt down on the link below. Click on it. Um, there's ways to get a discount. Ask me how to get a discount on the t-shirt. And I'll, uh, I'll give you the tips, okay? I want to invite you guys to subscribe. I want to know... If this video helped you, I'm going to continue posting these videos. So I want you guys to like the video and subscribe and also leave me a comment letting me know if this if this helped you in any way and what else you would like to know. I'm going to start teaching you my tips and tricks. A lot of stuff that I teach in my five day course um, for the local people here. So you guys are getting it for free. Okay. But if you want the, the one on one thing, um, the one on one training just leave a comment right here on youtube i really hope this helped you guys i'll see you guys on the next video